Good morning. I hope this finds you well. As you can see, I have changed the setting this morning just for a bit of variety. And I have lit this candle, the candle that I shared with you a couple of days ago, the candle that is precious to me because it was a gift from our daughter who made it many years ago. The candle is a reminder that Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Today, I want to remind us that in this wonderful Sermon on the Mount, Jesus takes it a bit further and makes it personal to each one of us when he says, you are the light of the world. Because indeed, if we call ourselves a Christian and confess Christ as the Lord of our lives, we are called to reflect the light that Christ has brought into the world to dispel the darkness. In the Sermon on the Mount, we also find the golden rule, where it says, in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. And that is the way how we can share that light of Christ in the world and become a light ourselves. The call that God has on our lives is a call into active service in everything due to others. It is not about simply avoiding or not doing bad things, but it is about being active, reaching out, making a difference, shining as a light. I am greatly encouraged these days by the news that I hear and read about people who are shining as a light in the world, who are making a real difference. And I would like to salute all our NHS workers who really make a difference. What about each one of us? We all have something to contribute, something that we can do. It might be practical acts of kindness. It might be reaching out to someone who we know is lonely and isolated. Pick up the phone, write a letter, send them a card. Do whatever you can to make a difference, to shine as a light in the world. Think about yourselves. What would you like other people to do for you in these dark and difficult times? and do it to others. Stay safe and well, and God bless you and your homes and all who live in it.